welcome to week 5. This week we will be introducing you to deep learning. Last week we saw linear regression which was a simple model that connected input to output via a linear model. This week we will be looking at a couple of more models. One is something called log logistic regression which is a classification model and the next is the neural network and subsequently we will go into what are called deep neural networks which is usually the terminology used for deep learning. So, recall that last week what we looked at was given some input vector x, if you want to connect it to some output vector y via a linear model, why a linear model? For some reason you think that the connection between input and output, the regression uh, connection is actually through a linearity connection. Okay. In that case, let us say our h of x with parameters w is assumed to be a linear model. In that case, all you do is you take a hypothesis function h of x, you say that my guess is y hat, you will have already got some ground truth y. And using these two you calculate a cost function j and you feed it back so as to improve w okay, by looking at del j del w. So, this is what we saw in the last week and we saw that the, the same model could be used for linear, quadratic, cubic and any type of polynomial fit. This week we will just do a very simple change to this. Actually, you will be surprised at how simple this change is in case you have not seen this before and we will be able to achieve almost universal computation. Okay. So, the first example of this that we will see is something called logistic regression which is a classification algorithm. This is what we will see first this week. Let me point out how we will do that and you will see the details in the next few videos. All we do is a very simple thing. Remember in linear regression you had x, I showed you a notation, you multiply it by w and run it through a summation and you get y hat. This was linear regression. What we will see this week is logistic regression is a very small change over this you take x, again the same parameters w, run it through a summation and we add one small change, we add a non-linear function. This is called a non-linear activation function. And this gives our y hat, this is called logistic regression for certain choices of activation functions. So, please remember this name activation function. All an activation function is, is after your linear combination, you add a nonlinearity over this. Okay. So, we will typically denote the nonlinear activation function by g. Okay. So, g stands for some nonlinear function. All this is, is all this put together lets us achieve classification in a very simple way. Okay. You will see this in the future videos. After this, we will look at neural networks. We will also look at what are called DNNs or deep neural networks, hence the name deep learning. And once again, let me give you a schematic of what this is and this is actually very straightforward as well. So, you take your x, run it through a linear combination with some weights w, run it through a non-linear function g, okay. then run it through another linear combination with some other weights, let us call them w1, some other weights w2, another non-linear combination g and so on and so forth. Sigma 
जी एंड फाइनली यू गेट योर आउटपुट प्रडिक्शन वाई हैट नाउ ऑल दिस पुट टूगेदर इज कॉल्ड अ डीप न्यूरल नेटवर्क दैट इज इट इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल आइडिया ईच ऑफ दीज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सिग्मा एंड जी इज कॉल्ड अ लेयर दिस इज लेयर वन हेंस डब्ल्यू वन लेयर टू layer 3 so on and so forth so a deep neural network is one which has more than one layer okay so that is all that's if you have more than one layer is called a deep network okay so this in a nutshell is all there is to learn within deep learning at least in terms of simple implementation let me come to a few more details that you will see as we move on through this week you will see as we go ahead that you need to pay attention in any model of this sort to the following factors first one is how do we characterize the output y hat okay y or y hat okay so as we saw in the last week suppose the output itself is a number okay so the number for example last time was we had our alpha which was the coefficient of thermal expansion or you could have a house price or something that you are trying to actually predict a number that you are actually trying to predict as a regression problem if the output is a number it's easy to say what y is sometimes however you are looking at slightly more qualitative things for example success or failure of a machine part or it could be a classification for example this is a cat or a dog or a horse okay so you have something of that sort remember that what we said in the first week every single thing that a machine learning algorithm does maps one set of numbers to another set of numbers so when i say characterize it means how do we assign numbers so how do we assign to something a number to something like a cat or a dog okay so we will come up with some very simple ideas for a regression problem usually it is obvious for a classification problem how do we do in a certain a few cases it can be slightly subtle so we will look at that this is the first thing next is of course what is the feed forward model i have already spoiled that for you i have told you that for logistic regression all it is is a linear combination followed by a nonlinearity which nonlinearity do we use that usually also plays a part for a neural network it is linearity nonlinearity linearity nonlinearity so on and so forth that's usually what happens in a neural network okay an auxiliary problem is which nonlinear function so how do we choose g we we'll look at some rules of thumb again there is no hard and fast rule we'll give you some common choices that are available within the literature this week the third thing is what is the loss function okay so just to recapitulate you have y hat how do i give numbers to y hat the second thing is how do i go from x to y hat given that i have decided some numbers for x some numbers for y what the forward model decides is what's this function form remember we distinguish between the functional form versus the functional parameters so how do we take this functional form from input to output that is what you have to choose next the third you have to choose is given that you have y hat and you have some ideal output y how do i get j okay so that's the third thing that you have to decide fourth what you have to find out is how do we calculate del j del w okay 
on the other in other words this is the gradient problem okay. there is a fifth problem which we will not be discussing very much which is how do we use del j del w to find better w as of now more or less what I am assuming uh, is we will simply use some form of gradient descent and as Dr. Ganapati had told you last week you can actually use several variants of this typically pure gradient descent is almost always never used in practice you use some uh, option or the other which is a slightly modified version of gradient descent but for our understanding of the algorithms what we will split our problem into is finding these four things a number representation okay, characterize or a representation of y hat so the representation problem the forward model the loss function and the gradient if you know these four things you have a deep learning model one way or the other you can always get a deep learning model so this is just an optimization problem after that okay so i'll request you to pay attention to these four as we go over logistic regression as well as deep neural networks you will see these four once again in different forms when we move on to the next few weeks which will be what are called convolutional neural networks and recurrent neural networks but if you get these four during this week you have a very good picture of what is actually needed to set up a deep learning model thank you mm -hmm.